All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a really great software that we can use to draw shear force diagrams and bending moment diagrams and solve all of the information that we need for problems like this. Um, let's take a look at this example first. This is a statically determinate beam with a couple different applied moments and applied point and distributed loads. So it is definitely possible to do just using statics and virtual cuts and doing all the hand calculations ourselves, but it takes quite a long time. Now, this is one of the practice problems that I have available on my Patreon page. Um, so if we want to, we can just hop into it and see what the full answer would be if we were to go through and do it all ourselves. So when we're looking at it here, we have the same beam. It's 12 meters long, all the different loads. Um, as we scroll down, you first have to solve for the reactions using the sum of moment about A equation and then also the sum of forces in the y direction. And then there is a few different ways that you can go about solving it, but this time I opted to take basically a virtual cut just before and after every time there's like a, something starting or stopping, and then calculate what the shear and the moment are at those points. So you can see we had points A, C, D, E, and B, and basically without getting into all of the details, it took a lot of calculations to get all of these different points, tons of calculations, and then at the end, ultimately, we are able to plot all of those on the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram, connect them, whether with straight lines, horizontal lines, parabolas, etc. It's all part of the method of hand calculation, and then generate the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram by hand. Now, that takes forever, and you will have to do it if you are on a test, but let's take a look at a really awesome software that we can use that does it super super fast okay so it's called SkySiv. there is a link in the description and then you can open up the same window all right so when you come to the home page um, they have a lot of stuff going on but basically what we want to do is just jump straight to the tools here and in this example we're going to be looking at the beam calculator there's a lot of other tools but maybe that's for another day so click beam calculator and it's going to open us up right here Okay, so what we need to do is we add in the beam. In the, the beam in the video was 12 meters long. Okay, let's take a look. It was 12 meters. Um, it has a distributed load the whole way across. That's 8 kilonewtons per meter. So we want to come down, add in a distributed load. From z It starts at 0, it ends at 12. And the magnitude at both ends was 8 kilonewtons per meter. It's pressing down. So we're going to add that in. All right, we should probably add in the supports. There was a pin support at 0. And there was another roller support on the other side at 12 meters. It was simply supported. What else did we have in here? Um, we have a point load of 50 kilonewtons pressing down at mid span. So we're going to add in a point load pressing down. Mid span was 6 meters and it was 50 kilonewtons. And the other thing that we had, we have a counterclockwise moment at 3 meters of 40 kilonewtons per meter. So we're going to add in a moment counterclockwise 3 meters. And that was 40 kilonewtons per meter, or kilonewton meters, sorry. And then we have to add in one more moment. It was, where was it? It was here. Is that 9 meters, and it's 60 kilonewtons clockwise. So clockwise, its location is 9 meters, and it's 60 kilonewton meters. All right, so that's all we have. Um, that's the whole problem. All you have to do now is just hit solve. Um, right now, you can see I'm not logged in. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch windows to me being logged in. Um, but basically, just I want it to start not logged in so you can see the button is here, but it's just going to move over to the top right when I'm logged in. Either way, it will show the exact same results, but when we're logged in, it can actually show even more details about the hand calculations and stuff. So let's move over to the logged in screen. So here we are. We just switched screens to the logged in view. Not much has changed. We still have the exact same beam. Um, and you'll just notice that the, the solve button, instead of being green and up here, we just need to come up here and press solve there. So depending if you're logged in or not, it doesn't really matter. Hit solve. And here we go. So when we scroll down, it gives us the shear force diagram. You can see it's the same as before. It started at 71.33, it went down to 23.33. That is what we had by doing the hand calculations. 71.33 to 23.33 and then jumps down to 20 negative 26.67 and then ultimately goes in a straight line down to 74.67 all the same stuff here 26.67 and negative 74.67 but way faster also a really nice benefit is it gives us the shear force equations in terms of x which can kind of be a pain to actually calculate if you if you have to if you scroll down further uh, we have the bending moment diagram as well. It's got this crazy shape to it, which is exactly what we had when we did it by hand. You can see that some of these maximums, like 178, 244, and 188. 
it puts out the same values 178, 244, and 178 as well. And also you can see here that it gives us the bending moment equations in terms of x for each section like that there's a change. Um, also super nice to have because solving those, usually when I solve these by hand I don't bother. I just find the, the points of interest and connect them with straight lines or, or parabolas depending on the type of loading. But this is pretty nice to have as well considering how fast it is to get. You can even come here and switch the bending moment diagram sign convention if you're used to drawing it inverted. Just a nice feature as well. And also, it gives us the hand calculations for the bending moment diagram and the shear force. So you can open it up, and you can see here, well actually if we start at the top, it just has some, uh, some notes here on finding the reactions. And it gives us all of the work to find the reactions. It's pretty nice. You can see it's exactly the same stuff that we were doing when we were doing it by hand. It's all up here. You know we calculated the reactions to be 74.67 and 71.33. It's all the same stuff, 74.7 and 71.33, but super, super fast. Um, and then you can come through the shear force diagram. It's just got some notes on the methodology. And here it just has the, all of the calculations for every section, uh, which is really great to have. And same thing with the bending moment diagram, just some notes on the methodology and as well. Um, Detailed, detailed information for every section that we're in. That's awesome. And yeah, you can also download it as a PDF. If you just click right here, just give it a second to load. And then you can click download. And it basically takes all the information that we just scrolled through, puts it into a nice PDF that you can uh, basically save or print or do whatever you want with as well. So yeah, um, it's super, super easy, really fast and intuitive for putting in the reactions and the loads. Um, I like using it. It's really great to check your work. Um, also, just while we're here, it's, they don't only have the, the bending moment diagram tool. They also have a ton of other stuff. So we were just using the beam software, or the beam tool, but they also have 3D, section builder, um, shaft calculators, truss and frames, member design, reinforced concrete, connection design, foundations, and loads. Um, this is great. There's so much stuff in here, um, but if you're really if you're looking for bending moment diagram and shear force diagram validation or verification, of course this is the place to be. Now it's definitely not a substitute for learning how to do it by hand. You absolutely have to learn how to do it by hand, but just to get all this information to check your work is just priceless. I'll put links in the description as well for tutorials, uh, different methods on how to draw shear force diagrams and bending moment diagrams, and also a link to a bunch of practice problems that I've done. And yeah, anyways guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy using SkySif and click the link in the description to check it out. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments if you if you like using the software or not.